everyone. I thought I'd come on and show the rest of the things that I bought so I could clean up my desk. Uh, needless to say, uh, this was just one of those weeks. I was busy, busy, busy all week and uh, didn't get everything that I wanted to get done. Uh, but I did get a lot done, and one of my things was to get all my cats revaccinated for their rabies shots. So that took me about two or three days getting that done. Y'all say, do you have that many cats? Well, <laughs> putting them in carriers and carrying them to the vet. That's the part that uh, is not always so easy, especially the outdoor cats. And I have two indoor cats and five outdoor cats that are allowed to come in on a screened-in porch at night if they want to. And so, but anyway, I got those. I liked one. I like one, and I'm she's the hardest one to catch, and I'll have to trick her with some food in the carrier, get her a piece of lunch meat or something. Anyway, I found this, and I thought, this is about the way I felt last week. Calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> you know me. I always, I love to cut things out of magazines, and I use them in my journals, but I thought... I cut that out a long time ago, and that's exactly the way I kept saying to stay calm, cool, and collected, because I had, I even got out in my storage room because of the coolness and worked out there and unboxed a box of snowmen that I had not seen in six years since I've moved in this house, or maybe seven years they've been, well, six years really, because I boxed them up at the end, and it was fun going through them and looking at what I had, and I burned a bunch of stuff, though, that day. I get carried away with burning sometimes. I go, get rid of it. And uh, so, anyway, it was where I live. There's just not a place to have garage sales, and hauling it off is a lot of trouble. Well, I bought from uh, the other, I bought some things from Tuesday morning, and, and I filmed this already and didn't like the film, so that's the reason I'm redoing it. And one reason is because this light, I was holding everything up, and I'd turn white looking with that light or get real pale so i'm gonna try to be careful with that this i got it tuesday mornings oh i like that and this isn't that pretty good stamps i'm so happy over these stamps and uh i bought these a few weeks well probably maybe in september the first september the last of august because this is not all just what i bought last week or any time lately i just haven't filmed what everything i've bought so uh, I thought, well, I'll go ahead and do that. I kind of got some stuff back out to show. So, let's see. I wanted to show uh, this. I bought this off of an Etsy dealer, and her name was Lovely Fever. And I have two uh, Sears and Roebuck, you know, the, the catalog, which they came back out with in the, I think it was in the 70s. They made a replica catalog and anyway but I I had seen the little one before long years ago but didn't have it so I found this one and these are pages that are like uh, just the size of a scrapbook paper so I thought oh those would be so neat to use and I think the old fiddle or violin is what really got to me there's several pages on that all kinds of stuff in here I'm going to be really having fun. And these would be pretty, too, to cut up and make tags with or uh, something. There's a lot of pretty stuff in there. So, I was real happy over that. And uh, her name, her YouTube, not YouTube, but her, uh, I don't think she's got a YouTube. If she does, I don't know it. Lovely Fever. I think she was from Oregon or up in that one of those states up there. So... Anyway, I found this stamp, too, real cheap. I don't think I've ever showed it. It's got Merry Christmas, which I got it out just for that. And I, I found it at uh, a clearance for 97 cents, and I'm not sure where I bought it. Isn't that funny? It's a Fisker stamp, but it has a Happy New Year, which I can use that. And just all kinds, Happy Easter, Happy Valentine's Day, Mom, Fireworks Show, uh, about... Um, Father's Day, thankful, and uh, happy Halloween. And I don't I don't really use the Halloween. To, I, don't, I don't decorate for Halloween anymore. My grandchildren are all up bigger, and I used to put out some jack-o'-lanterns and maybe some fun stuff for them. But now I just uh, 
I mostly decorate for fall and I've already done my little settings for that probably won't do anymore because I moved a lot of things around and so I had one area and I and and then I always kind of decorate on my kitchen or my dining room table for fall and that's about it so anyway let's see and then I got uh, from uh, where did those go oh goodness well, I'll show these real quick. I bought this at the Dollar Tree to go with my... Uh, I was real happy when I saw that. Look at that. Isn't that going to be good for my... Uh, this is going to be my cover for my red, white, and blue. And uh, I was real pleased. I have gathered a lot of stuff already for that. I found some stuff that kind of like I've gone overboard with it. I'll have way more than I need. But it's going to be fun. I found this from what uh, online uh, at Etsy. And that was from Etsy too. And let's see, I saw her name in here just a minute ago. Uh, it's called the Brown. Here it is. The Brown Pear Vintage Papers, and she's a Texas girl. And so, of course, I got them real quick, and I was real happy that she had those little bags of things, and I. I see where a girl buys a lot of her stuff, but I wasn't unhappy. Her prices were really good, and was it fun? Some of the stuff is old. Some of it wasn't quite as old. And uh, there's a card of somebody's, and, you know, just different things that, lots of cards that was the, the older kind of cards for the kids. And everything was in that color tone. So there's a flag of uh, Germany. That may be really old. Look like it was from some kind of cigarettes. Huh. Interesting. It's probably, they probably had a uh, deal where you could get uh, collect the flags at one time. Who knows? I know that uh, there's a lot of things. But anyway... She had a lot of good stuff, and I've kind of scattered it around since I already found this. So, oh, this right here was really neat. 1927, and it has a hand written with a pen, ink pen, and it's in, the colors are blue, so that was neat. And uh, there was some other things in here. Let's see if I can come across them real fast. And then this was Army. And uh, I think she just cut this out of something, but isn't that cute? And this was neat. <laughs> I have some of these, but never thought about using them. And then here's a no postcard, 1976. Let's see where that's at. I don't know where that's at. Hmm. International hotels. Look at this. Ah, so much fun stuff was in that. Anyway, she also had this red checkered scrapbook paper as the background. So, I got that and I, there was just a whole bag of it, but Ah, <sighs> getting it all out to show again, since I just showed it. Look at this. This came from Switzerland. Printed in Switzerland. Look at these old stamps. I can't read what it is. This was over a, the old airmail envelopes. Isn't that neat? Will that make a cute belly band? Ah, oh, supply money. Just lots of neat things that she had in those bags. Tickets that were that color and lots of the playing cards that were red and blue. And so I was real pleased. Huh, that's cute. <laughs> uh, it's always fun. And that goes into that, uh, my 
box that I've already collected and I'm ready now. I, I don't need any more. I've got plenty. So, oh, and I got these at the Michaels to go in there. I was, it was fun to get some, some these that on one of those aisles that was, everything was, uh, see, so it was red, white, and blue too. And I was real happy when I found these. They were, I got them in that 50 cents aisle. They were the dollar fifty, but they had put them in there. So that made me happy. And then, oh, I, did I show this already? <laughs> I showed it a while ago. I know in the other video. But I was, this I got it uh, Tuesday mornings. Now, like I say, Tuesday mornings, sometimes you find things good. Sometimes you never find a thing there. I don't, ours, ours is not a very big Tuesday mornings, but my daughter Margie was telling the stuff that she found over at theirs, and I was like, uh, I want to go over there and look. Anyway, she said they're building a new one there, so, or not a new one, but they're mo moving to a bigger store, so maybe it'll be more fun. And I do travel over there and shop, so that's fun. And I got this, uh, from <clears throat> A Tattered Dream. I know y'all know her. She's on, uh, Etsy. I'm trying to think what her first name is. Laurie? Laura? Laurie? Anyway, she wrote the sweetest letter to me. I was so, and she, now she's even come on my YouTube, so I was real happy uh, to see her subscribe to me. And uh, she gets some, uh, she does those junk journals and such, and anyway. But I had been looking for this stamp for the longest that it's a, uh, I wish I could say the name of that stamp that I tried to say it a while ago, but it's a definition stamp, and I just found it one time, and I was thrilled to death when I saw all these people were using it, and I have looked and looked for that. I love this. Yippee! <laughs> That's one of my favorite things. Yippee! Miracle. Isn't that neat? Laughter. Create. I know y'all have seen this stamp. If anybody has it for sale, I would love to have this stamp if they want to get rid of it. I was really wanting that stamp and I researched the internet and never could come up with it so I was disappointed in that. But it might come up one day and I'll find it on eBay or somewhere. So I've looked and looked. Well let's see what else I've purchased here that has of interest. I've got this stuff back here is what I'm working on and I've got a couple of col some back some collage things going, and I <coughs> can't wait to get started on them. Let's see if I can move something around here to show it. Maybe uh, I haven't got it glued down, so it's probably not. This is this is a collage, uh, starting a collage. Anyway, I'm gonna use this picture. And I've got a lot of, I've got the old scrapbook paper behind there. And I, if I move it, it's all going to fall apart. So, I've just got different things that I'm going to use on it. So, I think it's going to turn out really pretty. And I'm going to do a little uh, more of a stain around it. These were just some of those rescued picture frames that you have. And I went, I'm going to use that. This was 1907 with this postcard was written. I have a lot of stuff that's similar to that. I like that. Anyway, I bought, uh, let's see what my time is real quick. I bought this a while back, at the, and I can't wait to, I started painting it the other day with some shadow paint, or not shadow paint, uh, chalk paint. And I'm going to, you open this up from the back, and I'm going to redo the inside of this. And I liked it because it, you can, it's kind of like a, a bulletin board back there. Working on that. And let's see. Getting low. I mean, quick on time here. Got this from uh, Donna Little. I like this because it doesn't have any beads on it. I was real happy when I got it. And then she had this. And I didn't get, that day I didn't get very good stuff. Well, this is good stuff, but I mean, she was selling some beautiful things, but anyway. All right, well, I'm going to go on that, and I will be back, and I'll show the rest. 
Y'all stay extra safe in Jesus and bye-bye.